Hi everybody, this is Doug. I want to tell you about how I got an incredibly good deal on a rental car with Avis. And to be more specific, I did this because I'm buying a car, a new car for our family. And um, it's not here where I live in central Iowa. It's down in Kansas City, which is about a three and a half to four hour drive away. So I need to rent a car one way to drive to Kansas City uh, and leave it there because I'll be coming home with the new car that I bought. So I was looking for a rental car. What's frustrating with rental cars is a lot of the rental car places charge you a drop-off fee when you don't return to the same location, and that can be kind of expensive. So uh, as an example, the screen that we're looking at right now for the same date that I was trying to find, um, or a couple different dates in range, we're looking at a minimum of $119 on this date and $148 on this day. And these are the best prices I found on Travelocity for um, the smallest car, like economy or, uh, yeah, another economy car. So um, I went to various individual websites and tried it. And this is what I actually was able to find that is the main point of this video, $33.45 for the same rental car one way. Um, and here's how I found this. Um, I went to Slick Deals, uh, www.slickdeals.net, and typed in Avis. And then it was one of these first two boxes. I don't remember for sure. I think it was the second one where I got a deal. And when I got to the Avis page, I was able to type in the code uh, as a coupon code, and it didn't work on most dates, but this one specific date on a Monday that's coming up, uh, you won't see this video the same day I record it, but for me, it's this coming Monday. Um, I just put in this code here. Uh, they have a box called AWD, and I don't know what that stands for. Automated Wholesale Discount. <laughs> I have no idea. I'm just guessing. I typed in uh, D48. 6600 and uh, sure enough was able to secure this rental for $33.45. Now the unfortunate part of that is this is for Monday and I'm not able to do it on Monday. I need to do it on Friday. So I was able to get a deal but not as good of a deal for whatever reason this one day was the super cheap day. Um, so I guess I would encourage you just to keep poking around for lack of a better term till you, you find a day that works for you depending on how flexible you are. So I'll show you the deal I actually got here. Um, gotta get to the right screen. Here it is. Okay, so here's the one I actually locked in. Uh, it was $95.71 for this coming Friday. And, just to show you here that it really is a, you know, drop off in one place, pick up in another place. We've got two different addresses, one in Iowa, one in Missouri. Um, still, that $95.71 and, and is a whole lot better than, uh, you know, either $119. I'm pointing to the screen, which doesn't show up very well on a webcam. <laughs> $119 or uh, for the same day, for this Friday, $148 as it was shown here. So um, that's how I got the deal. found it on Slick Deals and just tried a bunch of different dates. I wish I could do that $33 day. Uh, a couple other ways I saved a little bit of money, or I'm going to save a little bit of money on this. Uh, first of all, I have uh, this credit card right here. Uh, the Chase Inc. Business Preferred card. And uh, that gives you three times points on travel. So instead of a point being 1% of your purchase, it's effectively 3% of your purchase. And uh, for the reservation I actually made, that comes out to uh, $2.88 if I use it for cash. But I can also use the Chase Travel Port Portal if I'm doing rental cars or hotels or flights in the future and actually um, 
get 1.25 as a modifier, so that would make it worth about $3.60. And then if you use travel partners, in other words, if you transfer your Chase Ultimate Rewards points out to um, like an airline or a hotel company, uh, the points guy says those are worth about $0.02 cents each, which would be about $5.76. And then on top of that, with Avis, uh, by signing up for an online account, they let me either use their own rewards program or I could apply it towards like a frequent flyer program, uh, which I did with American Airlines, and I get 500 frequent flyer miles, which is uh, uh, those, the points guy says those are worth about 1.4 cents each. So that's, that's 700 points or about $7 in value. So if we take the the credit card benefit that I have plus the frequent fire flyer miles. Um, I'm getting somewhere between 10 and $13 in value on this purchase where I spent just a little over $95. And as a percentage, that's around 13%, give or take. So uh, I got the pretty good price, not the super ultra good price. If I traveled on <laughs> Monday for $33 and then getting about 13% back. So I'm only spending in the low 80s, if you think about it that way, including tax on a net basis. Well, a little rambly, I apologize, but maybe that video was helpful for someone out there. There's a couple ways you can help me out. One is um, if you have a small business of any kind, even if it's, you know, like a blog or YouTube channel like I have, uh, or you sell Etsy on the side, or you officiate high school sports or something, you can open a Chase Business credit card. And uh, I'll put a link in the description box. It's a refer a friend link, so I'd get a few bonus points for doing that. I'd really appreciate it. If you think this video is helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you'd subscribe to my channel. I'm going to do more videos like this on various savings that I've come up with. And I'd appreciate it if you click the thumbs up button. Catch you later.